Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Hey everyone. So if you remember we had installed the react color or something last night and in this react color we will be having a color picker which is going to change the background of the t-shirt. So we'll be working on that in this video and this is the list of the things we should cover. So react color, so the background of the t-shirt is one of them. I'll show you all the themes that I have done and also I'll show you the overlay on the t-shirt so that the sticker on the t-shirt and then I'll explain you about the image conversion from div to the base64. Okay, so let's quickly go into it and first of all this uh, package has a good amount of weekly downloads. Right now it's around 1 million. Okay, so from this one we will be uh, using this Twitter one and it's extremely simple to use it. So what I'm going to do is <coughs> I need to go into the t-shirt one. First of all, I'll remove everything. And in the component t-shirt, I need to go to, I'll have to import Twitter color. So from React color, if it can auto import, hmm, React hmm, okay color yeah there it is <coughs> and I need Twitter okay Twitter picker this should work and in this Twitter this Twitter picker will be outside of this particular deal because this is for our t-shirt thing okay so I'll have it somewhere here and this might need some or this will need some things for example one is color or colors this is this is going to be an array of colors that we need so red green orange white let's take this and it will cha take the on change so on change will be something so let's do that in a while but let me go ahead and see what do we have here okay on change we need to have it as a function so now it should be okay and by the time I'll just copy and paste the colors okay, I'll copy the color and see this where is it circle oh here it is sorry my bad oops so we have this uh, list of colors which we which should change the background okay so first of all I'll go back and put in the required colors that we need and on change will be set color so first of all I will need to have a function called set color so I'll need to create a state here const color set color equals to use state and it will be we will need to have a default color so for the default color I'm going to pick this color so the thing is I have already created this project so that's the reason I'm copying and pasting a few items from my created code so yeah that's the reason you might see some inactivity on this page so it's because I am having this another project as well okay so uh, that thing is working well and in the set color I'll need to have set color to I think which is a color so where is it alright so I'm going to copy and paste the exact function here color and color dot hex because we need the hexadecimal so if you see here color, color it's going to show you the whole thing 
okay so that thing is done and I need to have a few more things here I'm I'm checking it out so okay so background is going to be something different so where is it where is it where is it color 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 there it is okay background color is not going to be green now it's going to be color okay so now you can change and uh, you can see the changing of the color here so blue yellow yep so this is looking good this is not looking bad so this is something which we have right now it's working perfect and you can even have your own color to it by putting your own hexa value so this is Good, I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, let me check it, uh, check more this thing. Okay, show all, you show you all the themes. So I have added all the themes here. One, two, three, four. In the customization, as you know, the logic. If the theme is one, show theme one, theme two, theme three, theme four. And I'm going to pass in the custom themes from all the themes. We can make it more generic, but I decided to go with this one just to make things a bit simpler okay set style I have just named it set style to because it doesn't affect like I don't need to put in like set one style set two style so I can do that it won't be an issue but yeah okay so now the thing is that I don't need this at this point and I don't even need this so I'm going to save it and first of all I'm going to check mark that as well show all the theme overlay on the t-shirt okay so for the overlay i'm going to do one thing i'm going to copy and paste my this thing theme name is going to be okay so what's happening here is in the custom style i'm even sending the theme name so this theme name is going to be the theme uh, not theme name but a theme number sorry so theme number will be our selected theme so set theme number where is the theme number let's see do we have okay this thing it comes from our parent as well so where is the parent customize I think that it will be from here itself the theme selected theme okay yeah so I, I did try a few things and yeah based on that but yes right now we know that the theme comes from the selected theme so if I have the theme number on t-shirt theme let's see what happens on the t-shirt so based on that particular selection I'm going to have a few things. I'm copying and pasting the thing. Margin top 20, where is it? Okay, it's here. So I need to have it on top of it. Theme 1, I'll have div overlay. Let's see how this thing works. Theme 1. Okay, so I'm going to remove all of this and let's see where it is being displayed so if I go to the portal it's having warning theme name is not defined is because we don't have theme number here sorry the I, I don't know why I keep saying theme name where is theme number one okay so there is an overlay on top of it so what I'm going to do is I, I will have a theme one theme one or I'll just name it theme one overlay and I need to create that function so const theme one overlay and let me copy and paste this thing copy and paste the whole function here 
okay so this will take in custom styles so it will have just one prop which will be custom style and it is coming from our parent so theme one layover style so style or the name should be custom style and it will come from theme one style and this thing comes from our parent so theme one style and if I have theme one style here I need to pass in from into my customization as well so theme one style if I have theme one style and theme number that's enough to show something on the screen okay so custom background custom style back color is okay it should have gone away but let's see theme one there it is so now we need to do something so that it comes on the center so this will be our sticker so based on this I will display it. there are there are going to be four different type of stickers here so I'll quickly copy and paste the whole thing and yeah we'll check it in the next video what all the those stickers are so I'm going to check mark this as well and I will sh tell you briefly what this mean uh, what I mean by this one so now what we need to do is we need to save this particular image so this is going to be on the center of this uh, this t-shirt so I just need to have a let me quickly center it so margin left 50 pixel oh, it's not this one I want the whole component okay margin left 50 pixel more than that okay so all I want is this particular image and this, uh, save this image also the size and the order for like whom this thing is ordered for and if I press submit it's supposed to go into my order section with with just a basic information that this is the uh, picture of the t-shirt and this is the uh, this is a size and the order for okay so uh, the conversion of the div to image we will be doing using a package so that package is called let me check it customization and dome to image so that's the name of the package so here is it is I guess this is the one which I have used yes so based on this package what it does is it captures the image or the dome and saves it as a base 64 and you can uh, base 64 is a string it's a long string and all you need to do is save that string into an object and and that's it and whenever you want to display it you just display that particular string and it's going to give you an image so image won't be of high resolution it's it's going to be a bit low resolution but it's more than enough to display at least for this project so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye bye